Well, I'll give you a hint. I'm going to do case study three with you. Case study two and case study four are going to fill in the other missing places on our little table here. Okay, so you should be able to narrow down which ones if I do one more maybe. Uh, let's do case study three. The dentist studies um, a random sample, keyword, random sample of dental patients in town. He divides them into two groups, those who take at least 500 milligrams and those who don't. Okay, well let's first talk about, and then he asks them how often they have canker sores and he kind of looks and sees a connection between canker sores and vitamin C. So he finds that fewer people who take vitamin C complain of canker sores. He finds the same thing that he found in that first group. However, what can we do with the information? Well, we can do a whole lot of different stuff with it. First of all, he only asked the people, well, let's say first of all, <clears throat> he randomly selected from the population. Okay, so what can be inferred about the general population? What he finds, what, uh, what he finds can be generalized. Um, to the population. Okay. Hold that thought. What can be inferred about cause and effect? Nothing. Nothing can be inferred about cause and effect. He can say that maybe uh, there is a coincidence or there is something that connects vitamin C and uh, the, a number of canker sores, but he can't say cause and effect is true because they were not randomly assigned treatment. Think about it. If you just ask people who take vitamin C, they're taking vitamins, they're conscious of their health, they're um, trying to do something that uh, will, will, you know, something health related. And then the other group are people who are not for whatever reason. So there are other what we call extraneous variables that basically might be contributing to this other than just simply the vitamin C. Maybe it's just people who are more health conscious don't have as many canker sores. Um, other things that'll go into it. So we can't attach cause and effect unless we establish that experiment.